Hello, this is Verity from Expert Agent and welcome to your video tutorial on sending mailers or Christmas mailers through Expert Agent. Obviously, it's not just Christmas mailers. You can send mailers at any time throughout the year, obviously. This is just for uh, a lot of agents ask us around Christmas time how the best way, what the best way is to send mailers through Expert Agent. Now, how you do that en masse to all applicants and, and vendors and landlords is by doing it in the HTML format. Now, if any of you are familiar with the HTML, format or have heard of it before, you will realize that it is a little bit more difficult to use than the integrated systems of using Word through Expert Agent. But if you do want to send uh, a mailer en masse to applicants um, as the background or the base of the email would be the mailer then and, and the information rather than an attached PDF, then you will need to use the HTML format. So bearing in mind that HTML is a little bit more difficult to use, if you are expecting to create a really attractive mailer with lots of different colors and things like that, it's going to be a lot more difficult to create that in HTML. So bear, with that in mind, what I'm going to do is actually create an image outside of the HTML editor and I'm going to create that image in Word and then insert it into the HTML editor as a complete image. So bearing in mind that it is an image, uh, the only thing you have to sort of be wary of is the fact that you're not going to be able to put anything in that image that needs to change on an applicant to applicant basis. So for example, it won't pull through their names um, or their salutation or anything like that because it is an image and you're not going to be able to add an image into the HTML editor and then add all sorts of bits on top of that image. If that is something that you want to think about doing, it is something that you will have to build completely with an HTML. And that unfortunately is not something that we can support you in completely. So it is something that you will have to do yourself with all of the documentation on the manual that covers HTML editing. So what I've done then is I've created this Christmas mailer. So I've changed the background there. I've added in some branding, added in some images as well, um, and got this made up text here. So this is uh, just, as I will stress, um, made up text. So we've got in some branding there, so it does look like it's coming from us, but there isn't a Christmas event on the 35th of December that we are holding. Anyway, because I've made all of these changes here and it all looks very pretty, um, because I've done it in Word, it's a lot easier to do. Also, I am somebody that uh, knows Word a lot better than any other program. But if there is another program that you can use or that you want to use, then by all means do. If you want to use Publisher or you want to use Front Page or you've got Word for Mac or anything like that, then please do use those as well. One bit of advice I will say about the images is to get them in a PNG format. So when you're looking at the file and the image file, it needs to say .png at the end. So what that means is basically if I click on that wreath image there, you can see it has got some space behind the image, but that space is transparent. So that's what it means. A PNG file has a transparent background. My logo is also the same. So those are transparent background images, which is a PNG file. So I'm going to send this to my whole mailing list. So all applicants, all vendors, all landlords. If you wanted to create three different ones, one for the landlord, one for the applicant, and one for the vendor, then that's absolutely fine. But as I said, you will need to create three different ones there. So basically what you need to do at this point is to create this as an image. Now there's two ways you can do that. Um, the first way is probably the standard way that everyone's going to be able to do is by pressing the print screen button on your keyboard. Now that should be up at the top near the right somewhere. It'll bu generally be a button that says P-R-T-S-C-N. Uh, P with a capital and S with a capital. Print screen and that will take a copy of your screen and then using Paint, Microsoft Paint, you can then paste it in there. What you'll need to do then is actually use the crop feature and crop down or crop what you want to send. So we'll go with that. Okay, then you can file and save as. So I'm just going to save this on my local hard drive. The only need, thing you need to think about here um, is the fact that um, if you think about the HTML editor, it works in what we call pixels or what the computer programming world calls pixels. 
Now a general A4 piece of paper is about 770 pixels wide. Now if your picture is 770 pixels wide, this is going to be, um, it's going to take quite a long time to open, it's not going to look as pretty, so you need to make sure that it's smaller. The only way you can do that is on the resize option here, and you need to make sure that it is resized down to the smaller than 770. Also, the actual file size as well. Now, Expert Agent won't let you upload an image any bigger than 200 kilobytes, so you need to make sure that your image um, is less than that. So I'm going to save this on my local hard drive. and close that one down. The other way to do this, which is what everyone won't have access to, is a program that we've got on our computers over in, in this office called Snagit. Now, if you search for Snagit, S-N-A-G-I-T, all one word, it is a um, program that gives you the option of capturing specific bits of your screen, rather than just with print screen, which prints the entire screen, or copies the entire screen, Snagit allows you to choose what part of the screen you want to copy and it also op opens it up in an editor where you can save it as different file types and things like that okay so snag it um, you can download a free trial so i do recommend that if that's something that you'll think you might need then do download that uh, free trial but it works off your print screen button as well so if i press the print screen button it gives me a screen that looks a little bit like this and i've got this cursor here with sort of a magnifying screen there and i can just click and drag it down and that's what I want to copy and then when I let go of the mouse and then press that icon there it will open it up within the Snagit editor there okay and so it will tell me down at the bottom there you can see the pixel size so it tells me on Snagit the pixel size of my my image I then can go file and save as and save that Okay, so I do recommend using Snagit, it's what we use um, over an expert agent and you can sort of add all sorts of information, you can add in arrows and, and add in extra images and that kind of thing, but that's Snagit, so I'm going to close that down, I've got that image now, I can close down Word. So back into expert agent now, we need to think about uploading this image. And we need to think of uploading this image as essentially as a template. Um, so I'm on my applicant grid, which is how I'm going to get to my template grid. If you are a super user, you can go through tools and configuration, but I'm just going to show you the way that um, everybody can get to this. So whilst we're talking about this, one of the reasons why um, I checked the sort of file type and I mentioned the file uh, type the file size and the pixel size is because within ExpoAgent when you send a mailer you don't get the chance to preview it before you send it. So you preview it as you create it but then when you send it it just gets sent out. So what you might want to do is think about sending this to yourself before just to make sure that it sends properly and it looks okay um, and it you know opens out fine. But loosely speaking, if you follow our guide and, and, and our pixel size and the file size, then everything should work for you absolutely fine. So to upload this, what I need to do is go right click, open up the action menu, select outputs and then create letter. So that takes you through to your template grid, so you need to select a new template down at the bottom. So the format on this one then is HTML. The template description is Christmas Mailer 2014, and it's an applicant template type, so we press next. Okay, at this point I'm not going to worry too much about what it says here, I'm just going to go straight to the edit content button at the bottom. And which opens up our editor there. So at this point what you might want to think about doing is adding in a sort of salutation field. So as I mentioned you won't be able to put the salutation on top of the image but you can have it above it. So dear for example then go into the codes and scroll down to salutation. OK, 
okay? I probably wouldn't, but it is entirely up to you, but I am gonna put that in there just to show you what it looks like, and then we'll insert the image. So then I need to go to my image manager up at the top and upload my Christmas mailer image. So I opened up my image manager, I press upload up at the top, and then select, and then go and find my Christmas mailer. So you can see the file size there is 91.4 KB, so it's not over 200 kilobytes. We also know that the pixel size was uh, a lot under 770, um, so that's great. So hopefully this is gonna work by pressing OK. So it's in there, so I'm just gonna then press upload down at the bottom, and it's uploaded it for me. So once it's uploaded then, if I click on it where it's highlighted over in the left-hand side, and scroll down and press the insert button. So it's in there, so I'm gonna just get rid of that space. So it does say dear, and then the salutation. I think it'll look better without it, but I did say I was gonna upload it and show you what it would look like, so I am gonna leave it there, and then press save and close down at the bottom. Okay, save on this page, and then you can close your template grid. So now we actually need to think about sending it. So on the template grid, you can apply certain filters. Um, sorry, on the applicant grid, rather, you can apply certain filters. So you could filter on whether the, act, uh, the applicants were active, what department they were in, um, and that kind of thing. So you might just want to send a different one to your sales department as you have to your, uh, as you do to your lettings department, which is absolutely fine. So you can apply certain filters. I'm not going to send it to everybody. Um, obviously, you would be sending it to everybody or, or certain filtered down selections of everybody, but I'm just going to send it to one applicant in, in particular. So we'll go with Mr. Rick Davies there. So I'll search for him in the top in the top four name box. So from the applicant grid then, once you've got your selection of who you want to send this to, obviously do bear in mind that this isn't just a Christmas mailer video, you can create any sort of mailer. So you can do sort of targeted mail outs with this mailer as well. So you could do it from the landlord grid, you can do it from the properties grid and send it to your vendors. So do be aware of that, obviously. But once you've got your selection that you want to send it to, you need to right click, select outputs and send email. Don't create letter, because that's just gonna send it to um, each applicant, you just need to send send email and that's going to send it to everybody. Okay, it will then ask you if you want to send an email to all the selected applicants. Obviously, we've got only got one selected, but you will need to press yes at this point. And then you select it. So there's the one that I did. Obviously, that's the one we did last year, but there's the one that I did just now. So I'm going to select it just by clicking on it gives me the option now whether I want to add any attachments to this email and if you click yes it will give you the option there to attach any one-off attachments to that particular email and it doesn't mean that if you send it again in the, in the future it will always attach those these attachments to this specific email it's just a one-off at this point so or you've got the option there to upload and send if you press no on the first screen there on that uh, add attachment screen it will just send the email So it then tells me it sent one email. So then I press OK. So what I'm going to do now is hop over to my emails and show you how that's turned out. And if this was a test, then you can decide whether you're happy with it or um, whether it needs further editing. So just looking at my email then, so I've gone on to my emails, I've opened up that email from us. And you can see that it looks quite nice here. The image size is quite good quite happy with that one um, if anything maybe a bit bigger but it's not necessary you can see there that it's got the salutation in there and you can see what I mean by it looks a little bit um, potentially messy 
there uh, with your image up at the top and because you've got nothing else no other text in there it can look a little bit messy just with me, dear Mr Davies for example but it is entirely up to you whether you have that salutation field in those emails there but hopefully at this point you actually will be quite happy with what you've sent um, and you'll be ready to send this out to everyone on your list rather than just to yourself as a test just one thing to mention at this point is that the email subject is actually what I called the template. So the template was called Christmas Mailer 2014 and that's what it's put in there as the email subject. So perhaps you might want to put in there Merry Christmas from Expert Agent or something along those lines rather than Christmas Mailer 2014. Okay, that's it from this video tutorial. I really do hope you found it beneficial. Please do bear in mind the fact that that wasn't just for Christmas mailers. It is all for all sorts of mailers that you can be sending at any point throughout the year and to any group of contacts in the system as well. So not just to your applicants, but also to your landlords and to your vendors as well. But thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I do hope you found it found it beneficial and as always if there's any further questions please do not hesitate to get in touch.